All right, everyone. Thank you for waiting. We are now joined by head coach Oscar Brea. Uh, Oscar, as always, if you'd like to get us started with your overall thoughts on the win tonight. Uh, we're very uh, pleased and, and um, excited just to get three points in front of our fans. That was something that we had in our mind today and uh, winning at home and just getting that confidence back. Uh, it's not an easy job. Uh, I think we're going to increase it for sure with uh, with the time, but today was uh, very necessary to get this win and the performance with all what happened in the field. What today matters is that we have a very good half. It's the first one. The second half, we could have been probably more uh, aggressive, but the boys were were uh, cautious about just closing the game. And, and this is something that we're carrying in our shoulders. And I understand that, uh, even me, right? We we needed to win today, and 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 that and that happened. So we're happy. We will keep increasing and getting better our performances. That's that's what we're aiming for. All right, we'll go to Austin, Michael, then Mike. Oscar, congratulations on the win. Um, Ramiro Enrique getting his his first goal for the club. Um, what does it mean to, to for for a guy like him who's been pushing and, and working towards this moment to finally kind of be able to get that uh, in front of the home faithful? Um, very happy for him. Uh, not a, um, not, not easy when they come to uh, the league and uh, the expectations are very high and and uh, the adaptation takes a little uh, uh, longer or takes some uh, so having him today in the score it was crucial. We wanted so bad as well for Martin, and uh, but but having Ramiro on the scoreboard is 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 great. Uh, confidence will will keep increasing. Michael, Oscar, congrats on the win. Um, Facundo now has uh, three goals to assist in the last couple games. Uh, are you noticing him starting to look more confident and in, in, in training and and bringing that into games? I do. I I see much uh, more conviction of him. Uh, the responsibility that uh, these young guys had and on on their shoulders, uh, and knowing that when when we don't score goals, uh, everybody look at them and and they feel it, right? But they they kept working, and Facundo, Facundo has has been outstanding in the last few games, especially because the scoring is is obviously what what we need the most. So happy for Facu. And um, hopefully we keep increasing from from everybody. That 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 part, you know, that we're looking for, just being more lethal. We had a chance today, probably, to score more goals. I know we'll think about it, but we're still battling. We're we're still fighting against that. Profe, eh, bueno, felicidades con la victoria primeramente, eh, mencionaste un poco de que como en el segundo tiempo pudieron estar un poco más agresivos uh -huh. eh, detalles peca pequeños que se puede decir, eh, obviamente ganaron a la, la, los tres puntos, lo más importante me imagino pero uh, uh, ya con esta victoria, ¿cómo se, cómo se maneja eh, el equipo en man de manera de, de matar estos partidos, especialmente cuando tienen eh, la ventaja, eh, Colorado uh -huh. Finalmente terminaron con nueve jugadores. Me imagino que pudieron a, a aprovecharse más de esa oportunidad. Sí, tuvimos una, un muy buen primer tiempo. Cuando ellos estaban con, con 11 jugadores, probablemente fue nuestra mejor versión. Eh, luego en el segundo tiempo, cuando entramos con un jugador de más, eh, sabíamos que teníamos que tener paciencia especialmente porque ellos tuvieron ese módulo de 5-3 que son 8 jugadores defendiendo y te contragolpean y cosas pasan y nosotros venimos como con eso en la espalda hoy la, la, esa pesadez de saber que nos habían empatado yo creo que eso nos costó un poco todavía, todavía nos sentimos estresados hoy en el segundo tiempo yo creo que esa sería una respuesta acertada, porque todos lo sentimos, ¿no? Y esperamos que eso vaya mejorando. O, hoy, hoy debíamos ganar en casa y, y ganamos. Eh, eh, ahí vamos. Bueno, Luis. Profesor, eh, muy buenas noches. Felicidades por la victoria. Eh, otra victoria, otro partido impecable en el medio campo. Eh, ¿Cómo se encuentra Wilder 
eh, salió en el minuto 46, salió un poco sentido. Eh, y bueno, le, le hago la misma pregunta también de Antonio. Uh, sí, no, la situación de Antonio y de Wilder fue mucho más eh, la de Wilder táctica porque queríamos eh, traer otro delantero y dejar que Mauro conectara. La de Antonio queríamos protegerle la, amari la amarilla que no le sacaran roja. No, esa, esa fue la decisión, pero ellos físicamente están bien. Antonio en, en, en Wilder Substitutions. Um, Wilder Tactical, because we wanted to add uh, a forward and then bring Mauro 10, 15 yards lower and let him connect us and see if uh, we can engage uh, with Martin and, and, and Archan and, 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 and have this possibility to score from there. And Antonio, we wanted to take care of that yellow card that he carries in the first half. I think it was unnecessary. Still, he is not going to play next one, next game. But we didn't want it just to those games where in the foul is going to give you red card. That's that. That was the reason. But they're physically fine. We'll go Nathaniel. Last question, Coach. Um, scoring scoring goals in, in the match is always important. What's been the key to not only getting goals and keeping the lead, but scoring multiple goals? Right. It, uh, it changed everything. It changed the perceptions of ourselves. It changed. Uh, And the confidence um, we have been winning away but at home we have not been good uh, in the last two games against uh, uh, New York and Atlanta with very good performances especially against Atlanta we end up with a very frustrating night because we couldn't score more than one goal and they end up just uh, tightening up in the last minute so we carry that heaviness today we, we still I think we still trying to get out of that and so that's that's why I consider that this very valuable we we may say that we should score more goals yeah but it, it's it's coming it's coming we'll go back to Austin for one final final one uh Oscar I just wanted to ask you about Alejandro Granados getting his his first team debut obviously signing a, a short-term MLS deal what was the thought process behind signing him and and what was the, the moment like um bringing him on Right with with Alex, uh, he has a tremendous um, competition with Spain, uh, playing with the U17s there in a high competition and playing as a starter. He's a product of the academy, uh, being so young, and um, and with that personality, we wanted just to let him put his feet on the pound and then and then let him feel it today. Um, It's good. It's a, it's very positive for the boys from the academy to start just getting those minutes and slowly we're introducing them um, with um, with more playing time. And but uh, it means a lot for our academy today. What does what does a performance like this, especially at home, mean uh, just for the confidence of this team? Uh, it's great for us uh, because we we were needing this kind of victory here at home. Uh, we knew that uh, probably away we are one of the best team in the league, but uh, at home it was difficult for us to get the result. Uh, in the last game we conceded goals in the last minutes, even when we were dominating, and and today we were a little bit scared because of that, but uh, of course with the two red cards it was easier to play and we created a lot of chances and I think uh, uh, we made a fantastic game. Obviously, uh, six games of beating and then first time this season that the, the team wins back-to-back -back for the first time. I mean, do you feel like this Team has already turned the corner, going into the, into the summer months. Yeah, I mean nothing changed in the team in, uh, about the players. Probably the mentally and the consistency that we are having now um, is the key of everything. No, uh, the players were there and the tactics were there and and the atmosphere, everything. It was great. Only some results and some points that we conceded in the beginning. That's probably now. We could be in a better position, but uh, it is what it is, and, and now we are in a in a great moment, and we need to keep going, not not only stay in this this step now. Mauricio, um, when a team that you're playing goes down to ten and then nine, is there an adjustment period for you on the field, or players maybe defenders where they're not usually, and does it take a few minutes to kind of figure out 
what they're doing. Yeah, and, and I think that uh, when this is happening for us, it's more pressing because we know that uh, we were leading the game and we have one more one more player, and then after two, we know what, that we cannot concede a goal. But that's why it's a responsibility. But uh, we used to play like that every game, um, and we know that that now for us this is some breathe after uh, many games without uh, winning at home. The last time it was uh, LA Galaxy and it was a, a long journey until today. How nice is it to see you guys put up multiple goals on the score sheets and still come out with the victory? Yeah, it's great for, for many players uh, scoring. Now Fabio is in a great moment. It was great today for Ramiro to score because he's giving him a lot of confidence. And it's great for us to start to, to score goals. In the beginning of the season it was difficult for us to score, even when, uh, when we create many chances. And now we are being also consistent in the goals now. As the captain of the team, what's it like for you to see one of these academy kids come up and get their first minutes on the field? It's great. It's nothing new for us. I mean, probably the people doesn't know many of these players, but they are training with us during the whole weeks. We know all of them, and for example, Alex knows us. He many times trained with us, and we know the potential that they have, and it's great for us and for the team to have this kind of player with this quality. Did the group kind of congratulate him after the game? I mean, obviously not his professional debut, but his MLS debut in a way. Yeah, of, of course, of course. Uh, uh, he now is a, a, how do you say, a, a grow kid, you know, and uh, and we we give the congratulations because he deserved it and he worked really hard. Mauri, the game was like a montaña rusa today. They started the game with a high volume, basically in the area of Colorado, then Colorado puso un poco parejo el partido y luego el segundo tiempo donde perdieron un jugador y perdieron otro, otro jugador y básicamente le dieron la ventaja ahí. ¿Cómo viste el partido básicamente en, su, en los 90 minutos? Creo que para analizar el partido eh, hasta el momento en el que ellos se quedan con 10 jugadores es verdad que nosotros empezamos dominando y, y pusimos mucha, mucha intensidad al principio. Eh, luego ellos pudieron salir de nuestra presión pero creo que no nos dominaron porque casi no nos crearon muchas situaciones de gol. Entonces, eh, creo que, que si analizamos el partido hasta ese momento, estábamos en un mejor momento sin anotar. Después, obviamente, con la expulsión, pudimos ponernos en ventaja y después jugar con eso. All right. Good. Start with Austin. Primero, first goal in MLS. What does it mean to you? Tu primer gol acá en la MLS, ¿qué significa para ti? La verdad que es una alegría enorme. Eh, lo vengo esperando hace mucho tiempo. Costó, pero siempre con con dedicación, trabajo, constancia, las cosas llegan y gracias a Dios llegó y espero que sea el primero de muchos. Yeah, you know, it was a, it was a great moment. It was something that, that I've been working towards and waiting for since since I got here. You know, it, it had been a little bit, but with uh, education, hard work, patience, and some consistency, it, you know, it was it was always going to come, and it just so happened to come tonight. So I hope it was the first of many. Can you describe what the goal was like for you, like what the play was like from your perspective, what you saw on the field? que si puedes describir cómo fue la, la jugada de, antes que el gol, de tu perspectiva. ¿La jugada del gol? Sí. Y la agarra Facu, eh, se mete adentro del área y como, como delantero tengo que hacer movimientos, movimientos de marque y, y me moví para atrás y justo Facu me la dio, gracias a Dios, y, y pateé y gracias a Dios entró. Una felicidad enorme y un desahogo total. Yeah, it was, uh, uh, Faku was out on the wing with the ball and uh, we were all just trying to bring it into the area and I saw the forwards go up and take the focus of the center back. So I, I just kind of dropped back and hoped that Faku was going to play the ball there and thankfully he did and I hit it and thankfully it went in and just uh, just a lot of joy in that moment uh, for, for it to finally come. Ramiro, felicidad primero. El profe dijo que, bueno, hace poquito dijo que el equipo pudo estar un poco más agresivo en el segundo tiempo, especialmente cuando Colorado fue a nueve jugadores como delantero. ¿Crees que vos que igual pudieran a matar el partido ya con esa ventaja de jugadores que tenían ustedes? De vuelta, por favor. No, que que el profe pareja dijo que pudieron estar un poco más agresivos en el segundo tiempo, especialmente cuando tenían ya la ventaja de hombres en el campo. Como como vos sos delantero, crees que pudieron estar un poco más agresivos y terminar el partido con más goles. Sí, la verdad que igual los chicos hicieron un muy buen primer tiempo, atacaron muy bien y gracias a Dios en el segundo tiempo sí, con la ventaja, la superioridad de jugadores, pudimos ser más agresivos y Pudimos hacer el primero y ya el segundo tenían dos menos ellos y ya estaba un poco mal parado, así que pudimos aprovechar y convertir el segundo gol. 
Yeah, you know the boys. The boys did a great job in the first half, and then uh, when we got to the second half, we had the number superiority in terms of in terms of players on the field. And you're right, we were able to be more aggressive once that happened. Uh, once we got the first one, uh, and then you factor in that we we had two more players than they did out on the field. It, it just added to it, and then we were able to get the second one and just continue pushing.